Well, the weekend might be over, internets, but this show rolls on. What's good? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to my 2K16 My Career Let's Play Ebenezer's Revenge on the PS4 on a fine Monday morning. Fighting Pentagon Jr. again, because this game, despite having the biggest roster ever, continues to make me fight the same guys over and over and over. In the my career, that's okay. Let's get right into this match and see if we can uh, put him away as quickly as possible. Perhaps have a second match today. I don't know. No guarantees. I'm still kind of confused as to why there are so many singles matches in the tag team division. And at least you know, if I was in a feud with a tag team and they wanted to have you know singles matches to determine you know that kind of stuff, they'd have me fighting Victor and or Connor. And I think I did that once so far, but you know. Otherwise, I'm fighting guys who clearly aren't in tag teams, like Pentagon Jr. here. As far as I know, not in tag team. Like, if I was fighting Titus, or Darren Young, or, you know, Kalisto, or, you know, somebody in a tag team, that would make more sense than fighting guys who are clearly not in the tag team division that I could tell. Anyway, welcome to Monday. Welcome to a new week here on this show. Same as the old week, I guess, uh, in the My Career uh, stuff. And, uh, yeah, wrestling news and tidbits and rumors, uh, let us kick off with that as we usually do here. Uh, I guess breaking is that maybe Kevin Owens got hurt at a house show? Like, that, they, they threw up the X, but at this point in the game, at this point, uh, in 2016, they have worked the X so often that it is hard to tell if somebody's actually, you know, hurt or not. They've, they've used it when guys aren't actually hurt, so it's kind of hard to make a distinction there. Uh, so, is he hurt? Is he not hurt? I don't know. But hey, it's Monday. Raw's tonight. Uh, you're gonna assume if he, if he has a match on Raw tonight, probably not hurt. Um, so I guess we'll see uh, how that goes. Um, but certainly, you don't want to see anybody else getting hurt. It's, it's, it's the injury era, so like, come on, stop getting hurt, seriously. It is effing ridiculous. Um, otherwise, uh, being that it is Monday, that means tonight is the debut, the re-debut of the Shining Stars, which is like, I guess they're calling them the Shining Stars, which is Primico and Epico, I'm, I'm sorry, Primo and Epico, not Primico, uh, Primo and Epico, um, and I can't imagine this getting over any bigger than a wet fart, because, like, nobody cares. They, they only cared about the Matadors because, because of Torito, uh, and nobody really cared when they were just Epico and Primo previously, so I can't imagine. Unless this whole angle is to rebuild up the return of Carlito, then maybe, maybe that will uh, move the meter just a little bit, but I don't know anybody who's like, yeah, Epico and Primo, great, I I'm excited, like, nobody gives a shit, um, and, ah, uh, he's getting his comeback. Given what I've heard about Carlito, uh, I just don't see that happening, uh, I just, I just don't see it happening. Anyway, uh, but speaking of returns, uh, it seems like outside of John Cena returning on Raw on the 30th of this month, um, it is entirely Entirely possible, I'm sorry, entirely possible, uh, they're saying that, uh, the Raw after that, which will be June 6th, we will see some more returns, and obviously we have some big names there, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, I don't think they'll all come back on the same night, that might be a little bit too crazy, um, but, as I've said, these guys, if they, if they haven't gotten their, their rub and gotten over with the crowd, uh, we're gonna have some very limited TV time when we gotta consider all the big names coming back uh, in the next uh, month. So, hope you guys enjoyed your TV time in the meantime, because you might not get it if the crowd doesn't give a shit about you. Or if you aren't selling any merch. Clearly, the New Day not going anywhere. They are selling merch like a motherfucker. All right, it's, it seems like it's been a while since I've gotten a Renee Young interview. Perhaps she's too important to interview the tag team division. Uh, but come on, I am a former world champion. A former three-time world champion 
as the cheese. And here we go, mayo. Cheese and mayo fighting the new day. So, we'll get into that because uh, I'm... Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a singles match? No, it's a tag team match. Wait, why does it say... Put on a four-star match or better and lose to Xavier Woods like it'd, be a, like it'd be a singles match. Unless there's no entrance here and the match is not going to happen. Like, I don't understand why specifically I would have to lose to Xavier Woods. Why wouldn't it say lose to the New Day? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but also, screw the authority. I don't know. Oh, here we go. An actual tag team cutscene for the first time. Oh no, it's the Ascension! They're beating our asses. They are not happy with cheese and mayo. We have been sandwiched. And now we're in the yellow and they're going to leave. And uh, this match is going to start. So that's an immediate di di disadvantage. Yeah, punch Xavier Woods in his dumb face. Whoa! Yeah, give him the fireman's carry. Who's the legal man here? I don't even know. Ring the bell. Ring the bell, ref. Like, I hate how they ring the bell b b before you're in the ring. You are not supposed to start the contest until all participants are in the ring. And then you ring the bell. Not beforehand. Not when you get at attacked on the outside. Come on. That's just common sense. That's just how wrestling works. But as you've seen time and time again in this game, doesn't always follow how wrestling is supposed to work. Which is real frustrating. Real frustrating. Anyway, there was one other little tidbit that I wanted to get into because there was a news article about it. Um, or, you know, dirt sheets. And, again, all the rumors that I mentioned on this show, like, they're rumors, so I guess, you know, take them with a grain of salt because they certainly might not be true at all. Uh, but, from what people are saying, uh, it seems like CM Punk, remember him? Apparently is not progressing particularly well in his UFC training, uh, so that's not going to be good for him. And everything that I've heard about CM Punk is that he certainly is a guy who can do anything that he puts his mind to, um, and you know we we certainly seen that uh, in wrestling as the guy who was told he would never make it um, to get you know to the top of the card and to be a multiple-time world champion. But but. There are limitations in the human body that I don't think even CM Punk can overcome, given his age, and... Ah, I reversed the double suplex. Um, and and where, where he is currently at. So it's not surprising to hear that uh, it's, not, it's not going well for him. The hell was that? I, like, ran into the turnbuckle face first. Because of Kofi Kingston. God damn you, Kofi Kingston. Where's your accent, Kofi Kingston? Weren't you Jamaican? Jamaican me crazy. Oh, Mike Adamley. That dude was funny. Jeff Hardley. What? Nope, you missed it. Right. Kofi's legal knife. I forgot that he totally tagged in. I forgot he tagged in. My bad. Doesn't matter. Gonna beat his ass anyway. So yeah, I... Uh, I don't think CM Punk's going to make UFC 200. I'd be, I'd be kind of shocked if he does. Um, but certainly there are a lot of wrestling fans waiting to see whether or not he doesn't, you know, he, he makes any, you know, uh, waves there in UFC. Um, or if his first opponent just, you know, beats the piss out of him. Which is entirely possible. Entirely possible. Man, Kofi's just going at it. Going ham. Nope, missed it. When does he ever do that? When does he ever do that? Okay, so... Uh, I need to... get to four stars, and then make sure that Kofi is not in the ring. But that might not happen. If I keep getting these damn things reversed. It might be time... For the Mayo. Where's Paige? Where's Paige? Where is... Did Paige not show up because of the Ascension? Seriously? Chop block. Why would Paige not be here? That's crap. 
Like, they could have had her come in after the asc Ascension left. Like, I understand, it's a limitation of the game engine to not be able to... You aren't Big E, come on. Um, to not be able to uh, have that many characters in the ring, or in... on the screen at the same time. Like, I understand there's, there's a limitation there. But, but also, you could have had her come in after the section left. Like, she's a damn manager, what the hell? Where's the extra mayo? Who, 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 who will be here to pick up those steel stairs as she enjoys doing so much? Like, seriously. Tag it in the mayo. The fuck was that? Get back on the apron. No, I guess I'm getting the stairs. Shit. Didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. I want to get on the apron without getting in the ring. I'm hitting L1. It's not working. It's literally... Okay. Sheamus has got plenty of health, so I don't think this is going to be a problem for a little bit. But certainly the New Day are, you know, pretty effective here. Even even without their uh, unicorn stomp and without B Big E at ringside. Which, why isn't Big e, Big e at ringside? And uh, without Francesca. Because certainly... Uh, you need Francesca, you need your unicorn horns, and your lone bootio, etc, etc. I'm sure we'll all be in this year's game, right? 2K, right? 2K? That'll all be in there, right? It probably won't be. Because they're assholes. Um, I don't know. We'll see how much accuracy next year's game brings. That'll be in October-ish. But before then, I would like to totally finish this, this, this career mode. That'd be nice. Uh, it's already May. It's, it's already getting getting closer and closer. Um, but they won't unveil that stuff until SummerSlam at the earliest. That's what they usually do each year, is they'll unveil their new game at SummerSlam. Alright, yeah, we're uh, in a bad way here. Big Mayo. Big Mayo. Tag me in, Big Mayo. Alright. Classic. Kicked you in the butt. Classic. It's not heartless. There's plenty of heart to it. Goddamn rope break. That's okay. That's okay. Because now I'm going to F5 Kofi. And then I'm going to Ebenezer Kofi. If I had enough stamina, I would. Uh... And Xavier Woods is not happy. And then... We're gonna go filter flip on Kofi. And we're still not at four stars. So I've been told, in order to make this tag team stuff go faster, there's a glitch. And uh, to get that glitch, I must... Uh, oops. I must not go above rank 9. Uh, so that is my, my, my goal here is to obviously lose to the New Day and not go above rank 9. Um, and that will glitch us into getting the tag belt of the pay-per-view, supposedly. Which is fine, considering my goal is to win all belts at least once. Um, and I haven't quite got there yet, so... Woo! Alright, now we're at 4 stars. Now... We will let Mr. Woods here, Mr. Mr. Up, Up, Down, Down here, um, get in some heat on us. And, uh, we'll see whether or not Seamus can actually, hey, wake up. Woo! We'll see how effective the Mayo is at, uh, breaking up pinfalls. Because, you know, it's on hard, like, the AI is on hard, so, you would think that... Uh, it, it'd be pretty good about it, but who knows? Not dodging it. The hell was that? It was a weird elbow. Are you gonna pin me, Xavier? I'm just laying here. Like, gotta get in his five moves to doom or what? Like, I'm not hitting any buttons at this point. I'm just like, just, just pin me, pay me, job squad. 
those damn dissension. I didn't hit anything there, which is which, which, which is real funny. All right, got in that move. Are you going to pin me? All right, not kicking out. Kofi get. Oh crap. Well then, uh, totally missed that pinfall because my capture kit decided decided to totally fucking botch it. So I'm gonna hit. That totally is just... Alright, that's the third time it's happened in the past month. Uh, it might be time to buy a new capture device. Um, that was a four-star match. Let me just uh, continue to narrate here. It was a four-star match and we lost to Xavier Woods. Um, it, it had to happen during a pinfall, right? It had to happen during a fucking pinfall. Well then, that was unfortunate that that had to happen. Uh, I'm not happy about it because I really don't have it in my in my budget right now to get a new capture kit. So, I don't know. Um, it just crapped out. And I guess tomorrow, I'm going to fight Fondongo again. Why, why, am I, why am I in a singles match on, on SmackDown? It doesn't make any sense. But hey, we're going to head towards Survivor Series, etc, uh, etc. Et as we roll on here. Uh, with this show. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry that my capture kit missed the damn pinfall, but, you know, is what it is. Uh, I'm a tax slug, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel in the mouth.